She was a young Filipina mother of three, a scholar and an activist. And we ended up in the headquarters of United Farm Workers in La Paz. Working with civil rights activist Cesar Chavez to support farm working families in the 1970s, Cynthia Ponta did not realize she was raising her children in the midst of history in the making. Oh my God, I, if I only knew they were gonna be famous one day, you know, I would have taken my picture with them. But, you know, you never think of those things, you know. Years before La Paz, she and her husband Warren Bonta volunteered at the Filipino Community Center in Delano, California, not realizing it was here that Filipino farm workers steered the fight for labor rights toward a unified path. Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sick of the union. I'm sick of the union till the day I die. Led by a fiery Larry Itliong of the Agricultural Workers Organizing Committee, Filipino American farm workers, including Philip Vera Cruz and Pete Velasco, walked off table grape farms demanding wages equal to the federal minimum wage. Eight days later, Chavez's mostly Latino National Farm Workers Association joined, kicking off the five year strike. You know, a lot of what I know now I knew afterwards. <laughs> It's a history she lived through, but still had to seek on her own. Bonta says it shows just how easily history can be lost. It was decades later when her son Rob Bonta became the first Filipino-American legislator in the state. The first bill he pushed through in 2013, ensuring Filipino-American contributions are included in California curriculum. That should inspire us as a community, and especially the younger generation, that it's in their history to be able to build movements that can create change. Bonta says for decades, history had been distorted. Uh, we should also uh, say that the reason why the grape strike succeeded was because of the solidarity between the Mexicans and the Filipinos. We couldn't have done it without each other because um, the divide and conquer approach was always used against the farm workers. And accurate portrayals help all students better understand the diverse immigration stories of America.